usually a number seven or eight, depending on your if your brush have numbers on them. Mm -hmm. And then a tinier brush for some detail, which you may or may not need. The only thing we'll probably use this for is when you do kind of those um, little scales. Not scales. They look, they look like scales for a moment. Like the strings of our green catcher, which I'll show you how to do. Don't oh. stress, okay? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. And then our paint. So five primary colors. Red, yellow, blue, black, and white. And then we do have brown for the brown around our green catcher, which is usually um, leather wrapped around it. Okay. And we have a glass of wine. Everybody out here. <laughs> what are you drinking? I'm drinking a white wine that a friend brought me. On the street, yeah. Capriccio, white and green. Oh, okay. We'll see how strong it is, guys, before I start slurring. All right, now. <laughs> we don't need the slurring. All right. Thanks again for painting with us. Let's get started. All, All right. right. I'm going to start with that medium. I'm sorry, that flat brush. You can use either that three quarter inch or one inch flat brush. Always rinse and dry before you get started. Before we get started, I always like to tell you, my painting is not going to look like my painting, painting. and your painting is not going to look like my painting. We don't want that. We want you guys to do your own thing. We are just here to guide you. So if you don't want a blue background, you can paint a pink background. You can paint a rainbow background. Right. It doesn't matter. We're just going to show you the techniques and guide you along the way. I'll continue nope. to <clears throat> do what I did just so that you can see exactly how I did it. Mm -hmm. All right, no, I just said we just got Stephanie to join us. Hi, Stephanie. And um, I wanted to mention that Connor is on here. Hi, Connor. Connor is part of our kids' camp. Hi, Connor. And he was just, he was just, uh, <laughs> he was just attesting that, uh, yeah, you know, Aww. kids' camp is fun, and then he's doing kids' camp with us. Can you click record if it's not already? It's already recorded. Good job. <laughs> That's for a couple of my friends that are not able to attend and do it well, later. Yeah. All right, we're, we're recording. Finally, able to get this. Yes. All right. So medium brush or flat brush, and we're going to start with our blue and white. So for our background, I like to do kind of a a corner of blue, a corner of white, and it kind of gives it that like you kind know, of like southern, not a full solid background. And can you say what the primary colors are again on yep, your palette? Sure. Primary colors: red, yellow, blue, black, and white. And okay. then we do want brown. You do want brown. Yep. And brown for our leather around, um, like your straps, your okay, and, and the, around. Uh, I'm just doing that for the few people that just came on. Uh, all right. So the direction of my brush, I'm doing diagonal brush strokes all the way across my canvas. So this is a corner of blue, a corner of white. Okay. And we're just going to fill in our entire canvas, going with a corner of blue, a corner of white, and just brush. Now tonight, I just want to make sure I confirm. I can't zoom. We're gonna leave. We're gonna leave this as a spotlight video like we have it. All right. So, unfortunately, I will not be able to zoom everyone. I don't think it's really necessary tonight. All right. Just if anybody has any issues. All right. They'll let me know. Just planning ahead. That's all. So as you go. Grab those edges, like the top, the side, as you go, so it looks finished when you Okay. Now, if it looks too dark to you, grab more white and add more white to it. If it looks too white to you, add more color. Okay? That's all. This is all your background the entire way. So that's why I said if you have that, this is a three-quarter inch brush. If you have the one-inch brush, it'll just have, help you go a little quicker. Okay. Well, look, really, for us to go through the upcoming events, we can, but all that matters is this Saturday. This Saturday, August 15th, <laughs> is Girls' Night and Fifty Shades, both sessions with spinners. Okay, the first one on August 15th, 1 p.m., is called Girls' Night, and that's free on Facebook with us. That's going to have spinners. That's, the that's this painting right there, Girls' Night Out. That's what we're going to be doing at 1 p.m. this Saturday. So if you're 
that is okay. coming to join us this evening is going to be on Facebook Live. It is free. If you would like to um, participate in the spinners, winning, oh, a bunch of prizes are behind me already. Mm -hmm. um, those, the play spot to do that with us is $5. Your name doesn't come off the wheel. Okay. Stays in, stays on, so you can win multiple times. And I'm going to be honest, there's, there's some pretty good odds because there's only about a dozen of you with us. Okay. At least a dozen prizes. So. Okay. And um, and how how soon or how late do you have to um? um to... If we can we can please get that done tomorrow because I need to create the spinners. Get all that done. Right, the, 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 the amount of times time. they want to be on the spinners, yeah. they have to have that in by tomorrow, Friday? By tomorrow. Okay, and then Saturday, it, it'll all begin. Yeah. Now, that evening at 8 p.m., we're going to do another session, yeah. and that's on Zoom, yeah. and that's 50 Shades. Yeah. And you get a place on the spinner just yeah. by just by um joining. And then you can have as many entries as you want if you pay for them. That's what we'll be doing at 8 p.m. Uh, August the 15th. Remember, you guys can tailor all of these things. If you don't want to tie, you want the wine glass, you can do the wine glass. Right. You know? But you're going to also have spinners for that one as well. There is spinners for that one, and we will say that the 50 Shades Night is only for adults. Right. Um, it is adult products and gifts. Again, your odds are pretty good because we only have about a dozen of you doing that one too. Okay. So. Yeah, so that's going to be a big night. Okay. It's going to be a busy day. Okay. We're back. Okay. We had a little vacation and uh, we came back this week. And um, Saturday is a big, big day and night for us. Okay. Um, after that, uh, the next time we're having a a painting session it will be thursday august the 20th at 7 p.m that's the uh, fall foxes that's on zoom that's the painted forward event yeah and it is a painted forward so um so for this event it's a ten dollar fee there's a sign up sheet it's a ten dollar donation right and that right. donation goes right to the family that they're sending the right okay and again you don't want the boxes you don't have to do the boxes you can do the fall scenery. Mm -hmm. But again, all of those are listed in our upcoming events on Facebook. You can go to that at any time. Go to the discussion and see all of the posts. That's where you'll always find your supply list. It's always post number one, mm -hmm. where you'll find any sign up information. Um, and you can look at photos of uh, of past uh, past events. And featured artists that we've been featuring on our page. Yep. And uh, I just wanted to mention one more time uh, for free events. Our next free event after that will be Thursday, August 27th. We're doing the sea turtle wow, right on Facebook. That's the free event. You guys have been sharing that the sea turtle. And uh, the sea turtle is going to be free, but that time is going to be at 8 p.m. So we're expecting a lot of people to be able to join us on that Thursday night, you know, and a later start time, then maybe we'll get a few people from the West Coast. We'll get um yeah. some of our uh, Canadians will join in, and um if they can't, if you can't, don't worry. Saturday, August 29th, 11 a.m. Start time is 11 a.m. That's also a free event on Facebook, the Sunset Silhouette. You haven't hung up already? I don't know if I can do that or not. Well, that's what we're going to be doing Saturday, August 29th. That's free. That's not a bad one. That's a new ad, so. Right, but you can find it right on our page on the Most of the Masterpieces page on Facebook. Go to Events, and it's all listed there. You guys, while we're painting, if you guys are having a tough time getting some of those little areas filled in and your canvas is kind of peeking through, yeah. always grab a cup of water on that brush. And it will help smooth your paint so when those little crevices in your canvas, okay? All right. Is that what yours looks like right now? That's what that's why you're saying that? Yes. Yeah, so you have some pieces of canvis. Of, uh, a couple of 
couple little areas that I can see my hand is kind of still poking through. Right, so you just put the water <laughs> on your brush and that's what's going on right yeah. now. Okay. Well, as I can see, everyone is, Painting. yes, everyone is trained on their canvases, the people that I can see, and they are, yes, yes somebody? Yes, it's Anya. <laughs> Hi, Anya. Hi, Anya. Yeah, I'm done in the background. You're done the background already? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you're talking. <laughs> I'm done, too. You're done, too. Connor, who's done? Who is that? Who is that that just said they're done too? Connor. Yep, oh, it Connor. is Connor. I thought so. <laughs> you guys are good. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, they've been they're they're veterans. They paint with you all the time. Everybody up when you guys are doing that. And they yeah. know what they know how you're doing and they know your pace. Yes. They paint with you all the time. Yeah. We're gonna give we're gonna give everybody a chance to catch up. Everybody, give us a thumbs up when you are complete. Yes. And we will, we do want this to dry a That's bit. That's what I was just getting ready to ask you. Don't you want this to dry a bit before you, you um start painting that green catcher? Yes. Yeah. So we're going to go over a couple of other upcoming events. Okay. Because I see you got a bunch of events coming up for the month of September. Yeah, because before you know it, we'll be out of August just like that. So for those of you that um, don't know, we do offer supply kits. I know that if, oh, you're, yeah. if you're painting with us, you know what you're doing, you know what you're getting, and you're fine. But if anybody has a hard time, you're welcome to use us for your supplies. Um, we were kind of just sending you online to um, order on Amazon or wherever, but we have kind of equipped ourselves now so that we have shipping supplies, we have enough kind of stocked up now that we can start shipping to you. you yes. Know, that is really good. Yes, if you need it. Oh, okay, we just got Rebecca Cami Malibu just joined us. Hi, Rebecca. Could you just um give her the idea of what are the primary colors sure. that you need and what you just did, what you just finished right here that she sees? Sure. So Rebecca, welcome first. <laughs> yes, welcome. So what we just did, we're, you're using um, your, so first of all, your colors. Blue, red, yellow, black, and white, as well as brown. Okay. Okay. You don't have to use blue and white for your background. You can use whatever whatever colors you want. We're just here to kind of guide you. So I started with my flat brush, and I took a corner of yellow, a corner of white, and a corner of blue. Yes. On that flat brush, and you're just gonna keep brushing it back and forth throughout your background. Filling the entire canvas. And blending it in. And blending. Yeah. And if you have any um pieces of canvas that as you're going through this and it starts to get a little too tough, then you just dip it in the water, a little bit of water, and yeah. um keep blending. So when your paint starts to dry up a little bit, it starts to get a little sticky. What I like to call it. It feels like your brush is kind of sticking on the canvas and you can't move it. That's when you like to grab a little bit of water at a time. And you can kind of use that to loosen it up. Loosen up or fill in those little areas of canvas that might still be poking through or peeking through for you. Right. And then you're going to do your whole canvas like this, and it's this, this, yep. uh, this vertical, no, this is horizontal. What is Diagonal. Diagonal. Okay, yeah, this <laughs> diagonal motion. Diagonal brushstroke all the way across your canvas. And then once you're completed, throw that brush in the water or rinse and dry. And let it dry. As you go, try and get the edges top and bottom of your canvas. That helps it look finished if you're going to put it up on a wall. Yes. Yes. Okay. Cammy says, thank you. Excited to be here. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to get her started off because she came in a little late. Yes. Okay. And everybody else, I'm, I'm, I've got to look. People are still painting. Yeah, Their heads are down. <laughs> right. And they're trained on their canvas. Very good. Some people are done and they're out and about moving around. <laughs> And they're waiting for everybody else to, you know, no catch up. I mean, we're not going anywhere. It's, no, it sort of feels like a Friday night, but even though it's a Thursday night, it's just I a little. Thursday when I have a day tomorrow and afterwards. Yeah, this is a good way to sort of, sort of start, restart, <laughs> restart the weekend. True. You know, because you get anxious on Thursday. I know I did. 
you know, on Thursday, I used to get real anxious, you know, Friday is coming up and the weekend will be here. Well, uh, I've, I've gotten down to um, Sunday, that's Sunday, right after we do the Sunset Silhouette for free on Facebook, you have to light a palm tree with the wine bottles. Okay, and people have to still sign up for that. We have a bunch of people, but anybody who wants to do the palm tree wine bottle? Yes, so you can. 7 p.m., August 30th. That's a Sunday. Again, you can order your supplies through us. We'll send you the bottle. We'll send you um, the the light. panels, the light, the um, a set of brushes, um, everything that you need to paint it. Um, so this is the palm tree one, which is the first. Right. And this is the pumpkin one, which is, I don't remember which day. Anyway. Oh, good. You turned the light off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I put my set of lights in here. All right. So this is your pumpkin one. And we do offer, since we're, since we're shipping two of them to the same location, then we'll, you know, we offer this kind of four times the same. You have to pack it one up. Carefully wrapped. <laughs> Mark sends everything. Yep. Send packages, Mark ships. <laughs> I have friends at the post office who's <laughs> having a little trouble right now. We better check on them. Oh really? Yeah, I heard they was messing with the post office or something like that. Uh, -oh. uh I'll go to I'll go check on them. <laughs> yeah, now okay, so after that, that's Sunday, August thirtieth, seven PM. Mm -hmm. All right, the wine bottles. Then after that we've got some new kitties. Yay. Thursday, September third, eight PM start free on Facebook. The sunrise kitties. <laughs> Now you know how people who know know us know how I feel about the moonlight kitties. But she decided let's do the sunrise kitties. And she put them all on the same So you can do this of course. So this is a ten by twenty. Yeah, all on the okay. same canvas. So this is a ten by twenty canvas. You can always just grab a sixteen by twenty and turn it sideways to have it in your sunset area or sunrise area, whatever. Right. Um or you can purchase a 10 by 20, whatever you choose. Right, but those are the Sunrise Kitties. That's free, September 3rd. That's a Thursday night, 8 p.m. Yeah. I mean, Moonlight Kitties was a hit. If you don't know about the Moonlight Kitties, go to our Facebook page, click on events, look for past events, click on that, look for Moonlight Kitties. That was a hit. Look at the uh, look at the, the slideshow for the Moonlight Kitties. That was a long one. And, uh, oh, hey. Our our um our audience outdid themselves that <laughs> night. Okay, you just go check it out yeah. for yourself. That's all I'm telling you. People, if there's anybody here that was part of that, they could they could attest. You know, <laughs> but uh, if not, check it out on our page. Yeah. So Sunrise Kitties Thursday, September third, eight p.m. Uh, let's see. Thursday, September tenth, seven p.m. Pumpkin Cat. Oh, uh, that's a Zoom event. That's at 7 p.m. Uh-oh, what did you do with the pumpkin cat? The cat in a the cat on a pumpkin. A moonlight kitty, but he's on a pumpkin. A moonlight kitty on a pumpkin. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, people like because it's that time that that time of the year is gonna come right up on us yeah. with pumpkins and. Right. Food, Thanksgiving, and yep. cold. <laughs> come on. Yeah, come on. Cold. <laughs> I know people are ready for the holiday season already. <laughs> all the craziness going on. Yep. Yeah, well, we need all of this stuff to just die down so we can all get into the holiday. You yeah. know? Dry. Oh, okay. Now you're gonna. Oh, yeah. You know what? Guess what? That's weird. Cause um, I see somebody doing that, and at the at the moment they started doing it, you started doing it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, like yeah. minds, hey, like people mine, think alike. Yeah. <laughs> and people who like to paint, uh, there's a lot of connection. Okay. They might not realize it or feel it, but it's a lot of connection going on. You know how you can tell? Do we have Amy with us? Um, yes, Amy's here. I'm so glad I got to talk to 
making me today. <laughs> you, made, you made my day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just it's just uncanny that um you know people that have like minded things that they don't realize they're being connected yeah. or or that, man, well then maybe some of them do but uh right now we're all connected <laughs> you know that's what makes this feel so good that's why it's so much fun right. and that's favorite everybody's favorite the book club. everybody's favorite is coming up people are going nuts <laughs> over this we haven't even i mean what is this one this one is on thursday september 17th uh -huh. okay september 17th at 7 p.m it's free on facebook but how many people are already saying they're coming? We have over 5,000 interests. So that's like going and interested or scared. Right. But how many people said they were going? It's over 1,000 now. Okay. So like, I mean, that would be historic in mimosas and masterpieces. <laughs> I'll, be able to keep up. <laughs> I'll be able to keep up. Don't you even worry about it. We're going to be here for three hours. A three thousand. Hours. If we get a thousand people for, yeah. on a free night. Oh man, that I'm would be just so awesome. excited for this. You got, so one of the things that I learned throughout working on my business socially, working on my business, is that Facebook gives you insights when you create an event. So I can see how many people are going, how many people have shared it, how many what you know what the demographic is, where you guys are sharing it. So you see the total amount of people it should reach. Right. So this has reached over a hundred and fifty thousand people just by you guys sharing it or tagging it or liking it or commenting it, however it works. I don't know how the algorithms work, but wow. <laughs> so, yeah, so really. We hope, you know, there is a lot of you guys. But it's, and, and see, to my amazement, because I don't know about, okay, and I'm like, focus, focus is really, uh, <laughs> has people's interest in loving. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, okay, so now it really are. brought it to my attention. I'm like, wow, just over a page. Great action. But I mean, it's just the, the choice of painting as well, too. Because, you know, we're looking at everything in terms of what do people want to paint? And then yeah. we ask you and you tell us what you want us to paint. And that's what she comes up with. OK. And, um, you know, and some things are popular, more popular than others. But this hocus pocus. Whoa. OK. I don't know. I can't remember who I wrote down who made the suggestion. But when. Oh, oh. So that's right. Okay, her. I remember. That's right. Okay. Specifically, she said she wanted, she showed me something similar, which had the three sisters. Right. So I'm like, okay, we need to do something like that, but we have to add like the cauldron because, you know, one of their famous themes is they're always around the cauldron. And, you know, so we had to add that. And then, you know, it looked back the normal. So we had to add that. So, yeah, well, once you posted it, it was like, yeah, boom, yeah, so, wildfire. Wow. Yeah. So that's awesome. Who knew? I know. I know I didn't. But uh, anyway, a thousand people. I mean, what the most we did? Two two hundred and seventy-five. Yeah. When we first started, yeah. about yeah, over three hundred. That, that right. So a thousand. Oh, I'll handle it. Don't you worry. <laughs> I'll take names and everything. All right. I, I look like I'm pretty close to being Is everybody done? Um, I would say the majority. Some people got up. Some people are just sitting okay. there waiting for you to. And then there's a lot of people waving and and. No, no, they're waving their uh their canvases trying to dry. Some people are waving their actual canvases. Some people are waving a paper plate. Some people are. <laughs> some people are taking sips. Okay. Some people have gotten up and they're moving around and they're waving. I see paper plates waving and all kinds of motion. For my new friend Amy. Okay. Who I chatted with today. <laughs> I'm so happy that we finally connected. I, I'm just happy to see I people. I, I'm happy to see people taking sips. They're relaxing. It's like you know that we're not in a rush. It's oh. good. It's good. Yes. Everybody's just right. relaxing. This is great. So for the next step, what we're going to do is use our plates. As dry. So it's, it's going to depend on how dry your canvas is. If okay. It's, if it's dry. They've been using the plate to dry, so I'm pretty sure it's dry now. So if it's dry, you can use a Sharpie, you can use a pencil, or if you want to, you can just grab uh, a paintbrush and go around it with a paintbrush. 
And if they go around with the paintbrush, what color are they going to use? You're going to use brown. Okay. So, You're going to use the Sharpie. I'm going to use the Sharpie to start. Now, I can't zoom in, so this okay. is going to be, okay. All right. So you do want to hold it tight on that canvas, just like, you know, you don't want it to move while you're outlining, right? And you want it up there in the left corner? Yeah, I don't want it directly in the center. No. You can. This is your pain, right? Right. If you want to put it in the center, you, you put, put it wherever center, you want. Center, okay. Okay, I see it. Okay. Yeah, they could see that. That on there. All right. Yeah, so while you wait for people to get them uh, paper plates on their canvas so they can make these little yep. circles, how was your vacation? Uh, but you, but, <laughs> but you knew you were going to work, right? It just it just goes with the territory. So we had an awesome time because we had time to spend with my brother and my sister-in-law. He came with us for two days and he played games like that almost every night. It was <laughs> so much fun because we knew how to play Monopoly. The boy caught on really quite well. Uh, you, you, those, you think? <laughs> we played life and we played category. Uno and cars and face pen. We did so much. So I enjoy those kind of moments because it reminds me of being a kid when my, you know, I did that with my grandparents growing up. Those are my best memories. Mm -hmm. So being able to do that with my brother and his wife and my son and kind of, you know, put the cherry on the top of the And you worked. And I worked. And we did a birthday party. And we did a, and we did a Zoom birthday party that was quite. <laughs> yeah, the landscapers came and wanted to get in and have us move our cars while we're doing a live stream. And then they was riding around the house with the loud noises and everything. And we still got through it. We had still a good time. But it was fun on our little vacation. And, <laughs> and then we got home and went right into kids camp. And that was fun. We missed the kids and um, they missed us. And, they made some phenomenal paintings. Oh my God, that was Pug in the Mug, right? Oh, yes, we did yes. yesterday Pug in yeah. the Mug, and oh my God. They were great. These yeah. kids are awesome. They were great. All right, so the next step that I'm, we're going to walk through is all of the, um, the laces or the, the threading of the green hat. This is probably the most difficult part of this entire painting. Okay. So um, if we're all together, hopefully we're all together here. So what I want you to do is we need to do, we need to find the center of our green text first. All right. So if you need to, if you want to, um, especially with a paper plate, you want to bend it in half and then half again to find the center, you can do that. I'm, I'm going to hopefully weigh it and we're hopefully going to guess. <laughs> so I'm going to put a dot in the center. All right. Does it really have to be in the center? Uh, it's just as close as possible to the center. Possible. It's not going to mess up your dream catcher, is it? It kind of like works with the pattern that you almost have to, you have to overlap your ring. Yeah, I see that. So, it looks like something, I'm going to give my age now. It looks like something from the Spirograph. I used old. to have it. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, to me it's old because when I was a kid, I, I had Spirograph, okay? Yeah, exactly. And I made exactly those type yeah. of like a big spirograph, guys. Yeah, well, spirograph is, I don't know how it's out today, but I just know when I was a kid, and that was a long time. <laughs> All right. So we're going to kind of almost mark, like, uh, hours on the clock. Let's say. Okay. Let's start with, let's start with uh, twelve o'clock. Mark that as the hour mark. Okay. And then we're going to go to the o'clock. Okay. Almost sort of like a bullseye. One extra in there. One extra? Yeah, so we're gonna. Right, an extra dot? Yeah, so I have like an extra hour <laughs> in between each one. Oh. So here's, so what we'll do is we're gonna, I'm in the middle, so in between each of them. You're gonna put another dot in between. Right. 
Okay. So uh, 10 after, 20 after. I didn't want to guess. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm guessing for you. 40 after. No, no. Yeah, 40, 45, 50, and then 60. Okay, yeah, you got it. It's like 10 minutes apart. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. No, 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 no. 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 It doesn't go that way. <laughs> All right, so we did our first four at our 12, 3, 6, and 9. Yeah. So let's start with that. And then you're going to put a dot in between 12 and 3, in between 3 and 6, in yes. between 6 and 9, That's in between better. 9 and 12. That's better. So then you have eight dots now. Okay. Okay. Yes. The next step is a dot in between each of those. Oh. Okay. That's why your times don't have to work out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Again, as close as you can to the middle. Okay. Yeah, so this is going to be the foundation for you to make these shapes. Right. Okay, so this is important. <laughs> Careful. Careful, yeah. everyone. So give Mark a thumbs up when you all have your dots around the outside of your green character. All right. And if anybody has any problems or any issues, yeah, then just unmute yourself and let us know. If push comes to shove, I'll have Jennifer, Jennifer come around here and look at your painting so that you can correct it if you have any difficulties. Oh, I got a thumbs up. Anya? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think at this point Anya has to even put a thumbs up. <laughs> Is Danielle. Danielle says oh, yes. Very good. Sophia says yes. Good. Yeah, Sophia is serious. She is ready. Very good. Very, very good. All right. Yeah, I have. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. There's a bunch of people that look ready. Hold on. Let me just see if there's anybody else I could see here that might not be ready. Yeah, see, I see thumbs up. I see somebody painting. Hold on. I see. um. Jolene? Joellen? Okay, she's still painting. Okay. And, and Jackie? Jackie looks like she's still painting. Let me see if there's anybody else I see painting. Well, everybody else is okay, looking ready and waiting. So just a couple of more, maybe two more minutes. <laughs> yeah, take a sip. That's a good idea. I'll do mine. Going, Water. going back to work yesterday after being out of the office, even though I worked, being out of the office for a week was quite stressful. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, and honey. Our, uh, our office AC was not working well. So I was pretty miserable about that. And that was. After I spilled my dungeon on our coffee machine, the lid wasn't on correctly because it came from styrofoam cup, paper cup. And I need the paper cup. Oh. Uh, so, so you just had a bad morning and a bad like, start of the day and everything. And everyone's huh? like, hi, how was your vacation? And I was kind of like, you know what? Let's go talk to you right now. <laughs> 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 I'll get back to you. It's really hot in here. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. And I had two fans on me. One on the top of my desk, one on the other side of <laughs> That's what happens when you come back from vacation uh, sometimes. Yeah. And then you get to a then you get to a Thursday night and you say, I'm, Okay, I'm gonna pour me so a nice drink. Looking forward to tonight. And I'm gonna <laughs> meet some people who wanna paint and wanna relax right. like me and Absolutely. let's do it. <laughs> That's what this is all about. Right. All right, are you ready to I'm continue? Ready. All right. Anybody so, has any issues, we'll have you repeat it. So the next step we want you to do, and again, you can do this with pencil ahead of time, you can do this with Sharpie ahead of time, and then you can go to your paint later. Okay. Okay, so we're going to draw in those lines. You're going right. to draw them in with the Sharpie? I'm going to draw, I'm going to start by drawing them in with the Sharpie. You can continue doing it with the Sharpie if you want to, or with a pencil if you want to, and then you can paint over your lines later. 
or if they want to be adventurous and use and their go right to painting. painting. Absolutely. So let's start with our 12 o'clock dot. 12 o'clock dot, we want to bring it to the center. But we don't want a straight line. We need a curved line. So we're going to do curve line. Okay, now, does it matter how much curve you give your line, or you just want a little curve for your line? The bigger the curve, the more it will overlap. So it doesn't matter as long as you try and make them all the same curve. Oh. Okay. All right. So that's kind of the left one. And now we're going to do the right one. Now, when you say you want the same curve, that's what you're talking about right there. Right. You want that same kind of like, I don't want the angle of the curve, but I don't know. <laughs> the true curve. I don't know. <laughs> so we don't want the next one to be like all the way out. Either. No. No. And then you go to the next one. Try not let that mess with your mind while you're drawing it. You want to do the same curve line, right? Left center dot. So from this one. But you're going to go over the. Right. Okay. All right. So now that's what you mean by the same curve. Right. You want to use the same length or the same width or the same right. circumference. Yeah, this one came out a little bit further. It's yeah, okay. it's okay, but you want it to be close you want enough. It to be close to and it's going to overlap going to when overlap. you do this. Yeah. And you're going to go each each so point at a time. Every point. You want the same curve. Try not to let this kind of mess with your mind, because I know that it does. It's an optical illusion. Just remember, you're bringing this dot to the center dot all the time. Okay, so leave those three there. Okay, so what you're saying is that if I stare at that too long, it's going to mess with my mind? <laughs> it's not, it gets confusing when you're like, wait, what am I, where do I have to go? So, worry about... Well, I'm not drawing anything. I'm it's messing with my mind. I'm just looking <laughs> at it. Oh, now you're going fast. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Make it easy. If you go fast, you might make a, well, see, okay, there it is. If you make a bigger curve than you normally would, it's okay as long as you continue to touch the dots. Yeah. So did you make dots in between? How many total dots did you start with? Yeah, no. you made dots in between. All of those dots, you started at 16 dots. 16 dots. Okay. I think I missed some dots. Thanks. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, yeah you start to you start to see that you're missing dots if you're trying to make the same size that you're talking matter. about. You have to go, like skip over and you whatever you miss one. Yeah. Then you just go, you know, put another dot and do another. Go. Right. Okay. Yep. All right. So it's giving you the effect that you're talking about. I see that now. Without having to use a spirograph at all. <laughs> I don't know if I could have I drawn. I don't know if I could have drawn something like that. This is the toughest part because it, it just is kind of a little bit of an optical illusion. That's all. So we'll give you a couple minutes to get that down. And again, if you feel comfortable, you want to go right to paint with that. You can. Okay. Or if you just like the sharpie the way it is, you don't even have to paint over that if you don't want to. Okay, but okay. you're gonna you're gonna still do something with it because you gotta paint so on the outside have, of it and add these everything else to do. feathers. You want, and, yeah, we want everybody to get this section this part down, of it right. Be together, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so you just want everybody to get through this step. Yep. And then just like interpreting it, you know, <laughs> I mean, I see so many different things in that. And, and but this is a green green are not quite like that. Um, but painting it the way that green patches really come out is really hard. I've done it before. Right. So we just kind of went like this. It's kind of that layered pattern of so right. Okay. You get it. You get it. You know what it is. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. I think you explained that pretty good. Okay. Okay. I mean, right now, just it's like um, I don't know, like a ball of energy. Yeah. You know where power is coming out from the center and. Going out to a sphere shape. Okay.
I've seen, I mean, I remember the first time I've seen one. I can't remember where or who it was, but um, I remember them telling me it was a dream catcher. I used to make them. So you can have them everywhere. Yeah, I mean, it was fascinating when I seen that. I was like, okay, a dream catcher. Okay, I didn't, the concept of catching a dream was something <laughs> that wasn't in my mind at that dream time. Fascinating dream catching when I started having crazy nightmares. Okay. <laughs> I've always, I've always embraced all my dreams, no matter how uh, crazy, bizarre, <laughs> horrific, whatever. I've embraced them all. Um, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't know what my dreams are that, are, that make me quiver. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I never let you go that far. I just don't want to. <laughs> I don't want you to find out. If there's any way I can stop it, then I stop it for you. That's what I do. And then we have rascals who have big teddy bears. Yeah, we have a dog that has nightmares, huh? Mm -hmm. That's something I've never experienced until now, too. So just give Mark thumbs up again when you're ready to move on. Probably oh, some people are ready. Okay. <laughs> I sort of ahead. Some all. people are ready. They're not messing around. They came here Thursday night. They want to paint. <laughs> they're relaxing. They're, they're, they're content. They're sitting there going, okay, well, I understand there are other people here that are not ready. And they're just yeah. patiently waiting. I'm watching them, they're, you know. Good, good. Yeah, I would say that if you want, you can continue on. If anybody has any issues, then that's when they'll say, wait a minute, um, you know. Going a little too fast. All right. But I don't think you're going to hear that right now. I'm going to go to that medium round brush. Yep. Rinse and dry. Now, again, yours does not have to be the same as mine. I chose brown for kind of the leather around the outside. Yeah. You can make that any color. You don't have to make it brown. Okay. Okay. So, what you want to do is with your brown or whichever color you choose, Instead of just painting over the, the entire line, I'm going to have you just kind of lay the edge of your brush, and I'll bring it closer so you can closer. Oh, yeah, please. Um, you're good. You're a little tilted, but you, you could show, you want to show the brush strokes. Yeah. Okay, so I want you to lay the brush and just kind of overlap those brush strokes. Just like that. They so can see that real good. good. So it almost looks like it's wrapping, like there's you know, leather wrapped around. Okay. So that will take a couple of minutes. So you're just going to continue to go into your brown or whatever color you like. When you when you get almost halfway, yep. can you walk back up and show them again? Yeah. Absolutely. Because it seems like it's like, um, I don't know, like it's sort of twisted on there or, or braided some kind of way on there. Okay. Interesting. How did the dream catcher come up again? Somebody saw it. It was hanging out in some room. Somebody saw it. So it was one of our one of our audience members that suggested it. Yeah, I mean, I've had the dream catcher thing for a long time. We just never got to do it at an event. So. Right. And then somebody mentioned it. Yep, and somebody saw it hanging up somewhere in our studio. So. Oh, right. That's right. Okay, now I remember. Now I remember. They seen it. They seen the pic, the painting up in the up in the background, and they started asking about it. That's right. Yep. Now, again, you're just laying the brush down. Can you walk up and show them again? Yep. You're just laying it down. I'll bring it down a little bit. Yes. Are you twisting your brush? The, the different side, the, the side with the paint on it. Right, trying to use it on my brush. And you're just laying it down like uh, half and half on uh, over the line. Yep. Okay. That was a nice manual zoom in. <laughs> we have about 
three more hours. <laughs> Seriously, we have about three more hours to go. See, look at the painting. She still got to do the feathers. What scared you? This time he was staring inside the window for a long time, so I just like, locked the doors. I didn't want to turn on the alarm because I didn't want you to turn on That's why I was loaded down. Don't you worry. I don't want you to So this person made you feel nervous or something? Yes. And then you never showed them to me? No. Well, the next time you show that person to me. Yeah. And I will take care. And because the last time he walked by like five times. Five times? And each time he was walking out of like this. But Alexa did get him with a water balloon. Or well, maybe that's, that's why he's why looking he's at you at because you shot him with a water balloon? No, he was doing it. But no, she tried to throw it. Uh -huh. She didn't actually throw it at him, but every single time we went outside, we had that, whatchamacallit, what is that thing called, the poker thing? We had that in our hand. You had the poker <laughs> thing in your hand? <laughs> yes. And a water balloon. Because some, a guy did pass by, but the reason I didn't catch it because I didn't see it. Okay. But we were on live view for a little while. All right. We started talking to it. Well, you see this person next time, you let me know yeah. right away. Mm -hmm. And I will take care of it. Last him. time I saw him, he was. I think you were in the backyard. Then I you come and get me and say, Mr. Mark, I he's right, right there. Right. Him. That one <laughs> right there. He goes away by the time. Oh, you won't go away. Or when I see him coming down the thing, I Then you just point in the direction where he went, you know. Okay? <laughs> no, what are you going to do with him? Don't you worry. Don't I'm going to find out what happened. <laughs> Can we get a minute before the next step? I'm just now finishing my curves. Okay, sorry. Okay, yeah, no problem. <laughs> All right, you okay? okay? No? Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. So I'll come back up close. All right. Are we in the lights? You can see them? Uh, yeah, but bring it down a little bit. Hi, Rob. There you go. Okay. That's perfect. So for the next step, as you go to go around, your circle on your dream catcher you're yeah. just going to stick your brush in whatever color you want to use i use brown and then you'll just kind of lay the edge of your tip of your brush sideways all the way along your circle okay okay and i, I see people are ready to go on okay all right so while you have that brown color we're going to do a little kind of a blue tiny lit up here. A little piece of leather kind of hanging on the side up there. Okay. And this can be however you want it. You can go over the top, you can go over the side. And then you want, you can again down here. You can make as many of these as you want. So these little tassels that my feathers are going to hang off of. Yeah. And do a few little organically drawn lines. A little wavy. A little wavy organic line. Okay. And as many as you like. As many as you like. You can see that some a little longer than others. You can up here too. Go top. Go Okay. And then. Um. Hi, it's it's Anya. Um, yes. is it okay if you wait like for a minute? Cause I did two dream catchers and I'm finishing up the second one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is where we'll stop right here. Right here. Yep. Okay. Right. So we have a little organic line up top for a it. And then we have a couple of organic wavy lines on the bottom where our feathers will kind of get attached down there. Okay. And you can rinse and dry. So how is it? It's still. Oh, really? Oh, 
sounds interesting. Oh. I saw Asian pears at the produce store. I think I'll go there tomorrow. And some uh, white peaches. I don't know if they have any more of those. They would, people would snatch them up fast. <laughs> white peaches. And how you guys give us a thumbs up when you're ready for the next step? Oh, yeah, well. For those of you that are done with the, um, the brown on the outside, if you want to go to your black and do your um, black on your line for the inside, you can work on that. Okay. While we're waiting on everybody else to pack up. I see some people still painting. Some people are painting the lines on the inside. Yes, some people are painting. Really? Well, you're using this little fine brush, right? Yeah. So if you're going to do those little lines in there, switch your brush over to that tinier brush. Do those fine lines. Okay. With that tiny brush, you always want to try and remember to rinse and dry and get it back to a point. Right, so you have to do this numerous times. Yeah. What color are you using? I'm just using black, but you can use whatever color you want for your um, for your threads. So when you rinse and dry, grab your paper towel, rinse your brush, and then drag it across your paper towel. As you drag it across your paper towel, you'll spin to get it to a point. And then you can dip it in the black. And and, and you're going to keep repeating this yep. over and over. Yep. So you think everybody's still working on the outside ring of their cream catchers? I don't know. I think everybody's done with that part. So are we using black paint uh, over the lines right there in the middle? Yeah, yes. I'm using black. But you can use whatever color you want. Again, that's up to you. Right. So it's your choice. Yep. But yes, you are using I'm black. Using black. Yep. Okay. I cover my sharpie line. <laughs> yes. Uh, Thank you. Awesome. Very good. Rinse and dry off and get it back to a point with those fine lines again. Yeah, so you just decided to go right up in there now. Well, once you start, you have to finish it. <laughs> I hear you. So I also use what we call pencil grip to destabilize. So you hold the brush like you would a pencil, that tripod grip. Right. And then use your pinky to kind of rest it on your canvas so, so that you can... have some control over where you're using that brush. Yep. Going over those lines. Right. Try not to get your pinky in uh, wet paint. Wet paint. <laughs> but you, sometimes you can't avoid it. You can't. It happens. Yeah, but the canvas should be dry. Yeah, your canvas should be dry.
Did you say that we could choose not to go over those yes. lines with paint? Yeah, absolutely. If you're okay with your Sharpie, this is a Sharpie marker. Yes. You don't have to go over it at all if you're happy with that. You can leave it. I probably should have just left mine too. <laughs> Couldn't help yourself. And once you started, then you said, okay, I got to Yeah, once finish. I started, then I got to finish now. <laughs> okay. I'm in it. He's going for it. Very good. Oh, yeah. Everybody's taking care of me. That's good, guys. At the end of this, we'll still ask you guys to send in your photos, and you can put them right in the Facebook event that we created for this. Okay. And then we will put a slideshow together with everybody's painting. Which is the fun part for me. It is. It's the best part. We get to see everybody's painting after you guys send in your photos to us. Yeah, it really is the fun part. We do love doing this part, of course, but we don't get to do that. You know, we don't get that final in-person painting like we do when we're in person. You know, with everybody together and on a group shot like we normally would. Well, I know our kids in our kids' camp, when they take their pictures, a lot of them take their pictures with them in the picture. Yeah, we love that. You know, they're posing with their paintings. <laughs> they're doing creative things with their paintings. It's just amazing. They certainly are. You know, love it. to see them when they send the pictures and it's just too much. Whoa. Okay, let's see here. I've got. Okay, that's cool. Right, Sophia says, I'm doing a pink dream catcher. Look, I'm doing my pink dream catcher. Oh, I see now. Oh, yes, very good job. Yep, Thank he's doing you. the inside. He's doing the inside of our paint. Ooh, cool. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah, we have uh, a few people waiting, but there's still people that are, that are still trained on their canvases, no and they are deeply concentrated. No problem. You know, on Zoom, can we play music, or we are not allowed? Alexa, play any music. No, Alexa, no. <laughs> No, Alexa. No, Alexa, stop. Alexa, play Dreamweaver. Oh, that's funny. I'm going to play a song, play the right song. There you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> know my music. Hey, I guess not my friends. <laughs> yeah, your friend who just left her name was that too. We have to rename them. Yep, we have to name out this one. <laughs> we have to name one have Echo. To name the Echo. Yeah, both of them. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, that's the only thing that's missing is the music. Facebook won't yeah, have it, true. I forgot. Zoom but Zoom, we can do this, so I got this with the music. <laughs> I got music for everything. All right. 
We're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> I see thumbs up. I see people uh that got up and they get something to drink and uh <laughs> we didn't added the music and just add a little little touch, that's all. Okay. <laughs> all right. With that medium round brush, we're gonna go back and do some highlights on our brown and on some of the um, straps coming down. So I just want you to use a little bit of that yellow. So medium round brush into the yellow. Okay. And you don't have to do this on every single one. Just on a couple. You'll just lay that yellow down. Just little touches? Yep. Again, it doesn't have to be on every single one. You can skip a couple. You just go around. All right, and give your wheel some color. <laughs> and then down on the right side of either one of your little organic shapes down there, those little straps coming down. Right, on the right side? Right or left, whichever side. I just like to keep them the same. Keep them on the same side? Yeah. Okay. Grab a little bit on this one up here. Can you show it close up when you're done? Yeah. Yes. Very good. Bring it down just a little, little bit. Yeah. Now bring it up just a little bit so they can see the straps. Oh, it's nice and colorful now that you have it right <laughs> up in front. I see. Yes. You, you put the yellow in there. It adds some. That's your highlight. Yeah, it's nice. Right. Now we're going to go back and. It's taking shape. Feathers are next, guys. Feathers are next? Feathers are so next. you're going to get some color in here now. Now we'll get the colors going. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's start with the top one. That's the one that's kind of, well, not that, they're, not that it's tricky, but that one's just kind of out of the way, and then we can play down here a little bit. So you'll mix whatever colors you want. I started with a purple one up here, so I'm going to take a scoop of my blue. Yeah. And this is my red. I'm making a purple feather, a purple color for my purple feather. Okay. Purple feathers you want. Three purple feathers you want. Yeah, two on the top and one in the yeah, one on the left. We're going to start with the first color. Okay. So it's kind of a little bit darker, but it's purple. All right. So I'm going to start right where my kind of my hanger is. Yeah. And then we're just going to do curved lines down. Curved lines going down? Yep. So right over, I'm going right over our, right over the, the brown that we put on there. And then just kind of pulling down. You're going to get some other colors in there. It's okay. Okay. So I went up and to the right or up and to the left. So on this side, I'm going to go up and to the right. Down. My green catcher edge. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go. Down into the right, the bottom part. And again, I'm picking up that brown, I'm picking up the yellow. That's okay. It's, it's making it colorful. Okay. All right, you're putting automatic shadows in there, so don't even worry about it. And then I am going to rinse and dry that brush. Good, good, okay.
Yeah, everybody's doing their thing. They're busy. I see people painting. Yeah. Think I can come up with another dream song? Yeah, yeah. Alexa, play Welcome Into My Dream by The Whispers. Uh, you play that song. I got music and song for anything. <laughs> So we have our two colors along the top. Okay. So now purple, purple feathers. Whatever color you chose. So I do want to choose a, a lighter color to add a little bit of dimension in them. So I'm going to create pink to do a lighter version. So I'm going to do a little bit of red and white to mix for pink. Okay. And then we're just going to go along the top of each of our feathers with that pink. Oh, okay. Wow. From the center of our feather. <laughs> and rinse and dry again. Nice. And then go back to purple from the even too much. Two purple feathers on the bottom. Okay. Right. No, one on the bottom. All right. One, two, three, two. All right. Two off the top. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's start with a curved line down. Let's start with that. <sighs> kind of like the, the stem of your feather, the center of your feather. Okay. And then just like we did up here, we're going to be Using that whole brush, I'm just going to kind of press that down. Just pressing it down and drawing away yep. from it? Kind of pulling away. Now you can leave it as just that, or you can do the side of it. Actually, I kind of went backwards. Yeah, I was getting ready to say, how are you going to do this? Yeah. <laughs> so how do you how do you remedy it? How do you Come remedy it? Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's a really big feather. Right. We'll make big feathers. Okay. That's good. You made it a feather. <laughs> Interesting. I think I'm struggling with my feathers. Okay, hang on. So I'm going to, Alexa, volume down to. Yes. Too low. All right, let's do this one on this side. So you're going to start with kind of a stem for your feather. Okay. And then you kind of want to curve your line. So you want to curve your line. So you on, the on the right side of your feather, you'll start at the top of your feather. Yes. And just a smaller curved line. Like that. Down. And go all the way down. You're going to come all the way down with those. But you're going to do shorter strokes as you get to the top or? Um, I mean, to the end? They're all about the same, I guess. And you'll kind of taper off when you get to. To the end. Yeah, come off the tape, but. And then when you do the left side of it, you'll curve down into the left. Okay. So coming toward your stem as well. But now I'm not sure what issue Megan was having. Um, yeah, that helped. I just I think I missed the breakdown of what exactly you were doing on the first one. Okay. Okay. I, think, okay. I, I mean I messed up myself on this one. So. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. Okay. Okay. And again, just like we use the pink up here for a lighter color, I'm going to go back on that feather. On the right side of each one, the right side of our highlight with that pink. So following those same brush strokes, just on the right side of that feather. Each one. Okay. Both 
must be. They have to experiment there. Yeah, okay. So we can go down actually both sides with that lighter color. So otherwise you have to add another darker color. So with your lighter version or lighter color, we're going to come down and repeat those same brush strokes on either side of your feather. Okay. And then rinse and dry. And then rinse and dry. And then rinse and dry. Interesting. A blue feather. A blue feather. <clears throat> Maybe some will overlap, like this guy might will overlap a little bit. Okay. So we want it to kind of curve in towards the center of your feather. And again, you have to kind of go over with a lighter version. Just need a lighter blue. Go over in some areas with that lighter blue. Excuse me, what did you do to lighten the color? Um, for the blue, I just used a lighter blue. So I just mixed a little bit of blue with a little bit of white for a lighter blue. Okay. For, oh. our, for the purple ones, I made pink. So a little bit of red and a little bit of white. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So now it's kind of up to you guys. You can continue your feathers with whatever colors you want to make. I'll, I'll just continue telling you what I'm doing as I go. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm going to go with some red. I'll do a red feather over here. Alexa, play Beautiful by Tweet. Okay, we have some kind of overlap over here. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. You heard me say my painting is not going to look, look like, like my, painting, my painting, and your painting, painting is not going to look like my painting. painting. Yep. It's a game. It's not a game. <laughs> it's just the way things are. The natural order of things. <laughs> and I'm going to use my pink for the the red ones too. That looks pretty. That looks pretty. Pretty good. That the feathers are even bigger. Yeah. It sort of looks like the wind is blowing through the through the dream catcher. Because the feathers are moving. Look like they're moving around. <laughs> yeah. See, once you put the white in there. Mm -hmm. That music is too loud. You just turn it off or turn it down. No, you can. Like yellow, you use yellow. Yeah. It's a little bit transparent. You can see through it. So I'm going to go with a little bit of a light yellow to start here. All right. Besides with yellow. And those strokes sort of got like a curve to them a yeah. little bit. All of your brush strokes are going to be slightly curved. For my yellow, since it's light already, I'm just going to go with some white. Yeah, so the white will bring out the yellow. A little 
little bit, I mean, you can kind of see some of the brush strokes. Yeah. Your, um, your yellow becomes transparent over your blue is making a little bit of green. Right. So that's what you're seeing through that. Great. I'll let you guys get some feathers on there. And then again, give us a thumbs up. That Indication right. that you're good. And then we have just a couple more little steps to go. You're done. Not bad. Yeah. All right, everybody's painting. Alexa, play Earth Song by Rufus and Shaka Khan. <laughs> You're going to have to make a playlist. I'm finished. <laughs> awesome. You know who that is, right? <laughs> Alexa, play Earth Song by Rufus and Shaka Khan. Oh, excuse me. Oh, so I'm sorry, Alexa, then be quiet. Stop. Alexa, stop. No, she doesn't want to play the songs that I want to hear. Then. She can't. Sorry. Right. Alexa, stop. Stop. Mm -hmm. All right. Almost done, guys. Mm -hmm. And this is the last part. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much an easy part. Okay. What's that? We're just adding some bees to our green pecker. So we want to add a couple of them up here in your web. And they can be as few or as many as you want up there. So you just kind of want to put that on a web. This is a good way to cover up any little oh. maybe imperfections you might have. Right? Okay. <laughs> and then the other place that you want to put these, they're like pulling bees usually, is down along where your feather meets the, um, the leather. Okay. So I like to kind of just lay my brush down, just kind of like you were using that technique for up here. Yes. Kind of just lay that down. Just like that. Just like that. And you can make, again, you can do two bees, one bee, five bees, whatever you want. This is your dream catcher. They're all always different. A couple of little whoopsies over here. Other one off the bat. <laughs> okay. Alexa, play one of these nights by the Eagles. I'm the playlist baby. Play this right up here. <laughs> okay. Everybody's painting. Good. They're making feathers. Good. They're putting the tops on their feathers. They're putting a little color in their dream catchers. Yeah, this is a fun part. It's kind of like whatever you want to make it, 
right there. You just add you to it whatever to way you like. Yep. Put your personal touch on it. Yes, that's what it is. Your personal touch. Absolutely. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's possible, but you know, when you're doing the painting, you feel the way you feel about your painting. Yeah. But you can rest assured that somebody like me and other people who are, did not do your painting is going to look at it and it's going to feel and, and get something completely different from what you think you get. Yeah, absolutely. That's just what the whole fun is about doing this, is that nobody's going to look at your painting and see the same thing. Yeah. True. And we're going to put in some of those little grain of cotton between those two feathers up there. Oh, okay. I'm putting two, two beads on top of either one of my feathers. Got one more over there I got to get, huh? And the very last step, guys, is your initial vindication. There's no rush when I'm going anywhere. You guys give us thumbs up when you're done. And I'm so sorry because um, I have I have something here from Stephanie saying, so that's a dark purple. Then add a little bit of white yep. for the second layer on top of the feathers. Yes. I'm sorry. I should have asked that a while ago. And then what is the pattern for the lightning? Uh, oh, from Rhea. Oh, um, for to lighten, you're just gonna add a little white. So yeah, so for any of the colors that you use, you can add a little bit of white, or you can add a lighter color. So for example, the purple. Uh -huh. Instead of adding white, you make pink, which is lighter than purple. Okay. So we need that layer. You use pink for the red as well. So I'm gonna take a red feather and then I use pink for the red. Um, so blue, we go light blue, so a little bit of white with our blue, maybe a little lighter. Okay. The yellow is the one that looks a little bit tricky because the yellow is light already. Right. So I did add white to it, and you can always go back and kind of do the opposite if you want and add, let's say, um, a little bit of green to it. Oh, okay. Let's, let's play with that a little bit. Green? Kind of that green to give it a little bit of. Oh, okay. A, you can see the, the stem the or the, uh, yeah. Yeah. So okay. there's some seeds in my weaving. So any of those little, you know, uh, little hairy lines that <laughs> kind of get a little wide, you can put a bead right there. Yeah. And then I did put some beads down on, um, like, the tips of my feathers where they use a little leather strap there. Can you see that? I'm offended. Hi guys. I finished. Okay, so for post. Right. okay now Sheila says, I am slow. I won't get to show it tonight, but I will post it in the okay. Facebook event. Yeah. And that was Connor. That was Connor who was talking to us.